I'd like to, uh, as we uh, edit this, I'd like to maybe if we could do an elapsed time where like I get like a Fu Meng Chu and then my hair grows longer so I look like it's been like three years. Just because I think it's I think it's hard to understand that you worked on something and I hate to, I hate to dwell on this because I think somebody might be watching this saying move on man but I'm three years no pay eighty hours a week what there's people that I know who apply for jobs here who work hard for three three hours and they're like well it's not working out you know and then but I'm telling you when you see the diligence is the difference maker that steady application yeah. of effort now Og Mandino my main man this is a quote from Og back when you named your kids Og he says obstacles are necessary for success because in selling as in all careers of importance of importance victory comes only after many struggles and countless defeats have you seen that in every area of your life I think in every area of your life I, I think uh, most people do, and I think uh, when those stories are told and celebrated, it leaves us with the idea of what is possible for us, is that we do not have to stop our life at a failure or at a problem, but we can move beyond that. Stairmaster took three years. Your book, from the time it was finished, from the time that you started first writing it, to the day that you finished writing once upon a time, Thanks. When we were colored, <laughs> the life, the, the, the real life yeah. story that was made into a movie, movie, where Felicia Rashad, Bill Cosby's wife, right from the Cosby Show, <laughs> from the Cosby Show, <laughs> she played, she was my great aunt. She played your great aunt in the movie. Felicia Rashad did a great job in that movie, by the way. Um, but but from the time that you got the idea to the time that that became a bestseller, how long? Twenty four years. <laughs> Again, if we could stop this, grow a Fu Manchu long hair and just do it, I would like I, to. I have a, Clay, I, I have, a, it, it appears I haven't had many successes that has been within months. It's like it's, it's always been a long time. I mean, we might, when we edit this, I might look like Moses by the time we're done. If I, 24 years? I just, the one thing I have for frustration with is that, like, when I read this book, you know, The Wisdom of Steve Jobs. Oh, I, I read this book, and I think I read it in like in, in like uh, two hours. Caleb Hutton got this for me for my birthday. I read it in two hours. I say, well, that's good. His whole life's wisdom right here. Boom, let's put it back on my shelf. All right, you know. And then I go here and I say, oh, Jack Welch. You know, this was a longer one, but I read everything that Jack Welch has to say. Well, let me rearrange my books here. I read everything that Jack Welch had to say about management in our trip to uh, Florida. The problem is this took him 30 years to do. And the entrepreneurs that I know who are really in trouble and who are really uh, emotionally distraught and who are really um, perpetually frustrated, the guys I know who are just really struggling, they keep moving on to new trees. They have that new tree disease, you know, where it's like new opportunity, great, let's do this for 10 minutes. New opportunity, and they, they hop from job to job, they hop from opportunity to opportunity, but the people who I know who are successful, whether it's Jack Welch, whether it's yourself, whether it's Oprah, whether it's you know Donald Trump, whether it's the Amazon guys, whether it's, I mean, it's getting the movie Rocky made. I read that this guy had over 100 rejections on his playwright yeah. before he finally had, I, mean, I can't imagine the humiliation of writing your movie script, binding it, flying somewhere or driving somewhere, meeting with somebody and being told no hundreds of times. Yeah. I mean, but that's how success happens. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it, uh, I mean, there are some rare occasions where success might happen rather quickly, but for the most part, that's not the case at all. I, that is not the case at all. I uh, um, uh, uh, had a, uh, the, one of the top agents in farmers insurance. I do some training with uh, farmers insurance here in Tulsa. One of the top agents in the country. Uh, he's awesome because he chops the trees all the time. And we had a young guy here who asked the question, well, you know, it's easy for him to be successful. He's writing a hundred and something policies a month. And I said, you call. You pick up the phone. You call this man. I will pay you. I will pay you. I told the guy, I'll pay a hundred dollars. If you'll call the guy and talk for 10 minutes and just ask him how he did it, I, I'll do it. Well, this guy, boop, 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 boop. Excuse me, sir, how many calls do you make? He says 14,200 and whatever. That's his like, quota. He, 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 so he makes 14,000 outbound calls a month and he sells like 122 policies. So it, it comes out to a point 
0.08. So it's eight tenths of a percent success ratio. He has eight tenths of a percent of success per month, and he is one of the most successful in the country. Um, for Thrive, as we built this platform together, you and I have met countless hours we've spent on this, and we'll spend more. Uh, we had countless venture capital people that said, practical education for entrepreneurs? Boo! Well then, got this idea in front of some very successful entrepreneurs, and they said, I, this is the best idea ever. But I think I had to dig deep through, what, 300 and something success, the rejections before I found that one deal. And I think a lot of us, if we're not careful, we're going to stop three feet from gold, aren't we? Yeah, that's, that's, that, would, that is what uh, concerns me. And that's why I think Thrive, the Thrive platform is so important. Because there will be those stories within the Thrive stories about those people who persisted. They did not stop. I mean, you, you need to hear someone tell you, hey, check out tomorrow. Don't stop today. 